Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Podium by Razor Bags. This is the first of three bags I have from Razor. All three of them have a different slow side, different car material. It's very unique. I don't know if any of those materials have been used in any other bags that I've seen. So we'll start here today with the Podium. Start with the design here, and Razor has a lot of designs. They have a lot of options. They do a lot of seasonal designs, a lot of holiday-themed designs. They have a website, uh, buyprobags.com. You can go check out and look at the designs. These bags are a CL Pro Stamp for 2023. Material-wise, start with the slow side here, and this is, again, it's a very unique material. This reminds me, playability feel of like that Viper R carpet or that clone carpet like you find on the uh, the, the Chaos Edge or the, the Kaboom I just reviewed, the uh, B3 Coyote, the Southwest Hefe, the XL Lights Out, those bags. It kind of reminds me somewhere in between the, the, those, those carpets somewhere in there. It's not the same as either of those carpets, but it, it gives a similar feel, similar vibe. I, I would say it plays probably close to a five. Razor or Razor lists it as a six speed on the website. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a five, but somewhere in that five to six range, the slow side, fast side. This is that Pro Sniper Deadhead Viper fast side nine speed. Uh, Razor calls it an eight, but I, I call it a nine. It, you know, it, it's pretty fast. It, most of you have thrown that before. So you're looking at about, you know, I call it a five nine. They say a six eight. So somewhere in that five to six slow, eight to nine fast. It's kind of the options you're looking for there. This. Uh, template on this bag this is a large template bag a very big bag but it's also a very full bag so it's not it's not crazy floppy it's one of the fullest bags i found for a large template bag it's just it's it's huge <laughs> and it has a lot of fill in there uh in fact i, I don't know if i could show you I, I wanted to show this i don't know what's going to see here i've got the the chaos here swag bag three reviewed it's going to be tough to see here probably the camera because what we're talking about you know the, the the width they're talking about fractions of an inch but it you know it's, it's a touch bigger here i don't know if you see how much thicker it is i don't know if i picked this up if that'll help you guys see if you can see the thickness difference in the 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 podium and the chaos here but it's definitely a thicker back this is more of this chaos is a medium speed a medium template medium fill medium thickness to it really like this fill this is large in all ways it's almost no honestly it's almost too large uh, it's just it's just huge and, and the problem I was having with this bag and I was throwing it is because it's so big and so full that when I had my grip I went to throw when I throw I, I let go of my thumb I let my thumb start to release before I explode my fingers up just to make sure my thumb clears the bag and I don't call it hang up my thumb or drag it well what I was happy is here is as I was throwing and I'd let my thumb up the bag would start to fall out of the hands and as I would throw it would just nosedive out and when I was warming up this, it took me a good while to dial this in and figure out. And, and I was having to adjust my throw. First, I started kind of trying to come under the bag more and trying to throw it up higher and get it in. And, and I, I could do that, but consistently it was it was weird. And then I learned, then I had to actually speed up my throw. So what I was doing is the moment I started lifting my thumb, I would speed up to get from this point to this point quicker to, to give it less time for that bag to fall out. But everything I was doing was causing me to change my throw, which was making me very inconsistent. I really struggled to dial this in. Now... After a world for a while, throwing for a while, I, I I did fairly decent throwing this bag in the videos. You know, I, I felt like I threw it worse. I threw, I threw it. I felt like I threw it worse than what I did. When I went back and started editing the videos, I realized I, I didn't throw that bad. It just felt like that because it was, it was just a constant struggle for me to get this bag to do what I wanted it to. The other thing I mentioned is the fill in this bag. They have it. They list it as the, as the RZ3. It says powered by RZ3. And I was like, well, that sounds like a big deal. I didn't know what the RZ3 meant. I was feeling the bag. I'm like, man, it feels like nothing but small disc, that, that, that disc fill in here. But I was like, well, it's got to be something special because even on their website, they were boasting about, you know, how great the RZ3 was. I went and did a little search for it, found a YouTube video from B3 Cornhole, their back surgery. They actually opened up a set of Razor Rampage, which also had the RZ3 stamp on it here. And when he, when when he opened it up, you saw it was nothing but disc fill. There, it was just a, it was a simple fill. There's no mix, no blind, nothing like that. So the RZ fill is just that disc fill that a lot of companies are using right now. There's nothing really special about it. So playability on this bag, uh, this 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 is a bag that really to me it, it's best suited for just running bags in the hallway slide because I I feel like this material should be able to control it and slow it down and play a dirty style game. And because it's a larger bag, it, it makes a great blocker. It's it's full enough that it's pretty easy to collect. If you clip it, you know, it really does a great job of, of collecting. The problem I was having is because I have to, I had to throw the bag harder to get it to come out flatter is that I had a hard time slowing it down. So if I wanted to slow down instead of going harder, I had to go back to kind of get under it and throw the bag higher or trying to land it shorter and almost hit that dead zone and slow it down. And I was just having to change my throw so much that I wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be. I felt like I threw this back awful. I just, I felt like I struggled to switch back. As I was editing the videos, I realized I didn't throw it as bad as I thought I did. But when I stood up to the, when I stood up to that board to throw, I'm a very confident player. So when I get up to a board, open board, 
I'm most of the time, I'm 100% confident that that bag's going to hold. Now, it doesn't go in the hole 100% of the time, but confidence-wise, when I'm up there, I, I there's no doubt in my mind I'm putting that bag in the hole. When I got up to this bag, I didn't have that confidence. I was like, it's 50-50, may, maybe even there's a little, sometimes I was like, hey, this, I don't even know if this bag's going to even hit the board. I just, I had no confidence, and so I really struggled with that, which made me, I, I, because I was having to change my throw, I just couldn't get the consistency. So I'd put two or three bags in and then have a, a bag just, just fly off the side or back go, go this way or, or back fly off the back because I was trying to catch it. Like I felt like as I'm throwing, I'm having to adjust my throw. I just feel that back start fall in my hand and I'm quickly having to speed up or, or rotate, trying to get under the bag. I was doing things mid-throw, trying to compensate for the back and it was just messing with my throat, messing with my consistency. I, I don't dislike this bag. But I, I can't say I like it. I What I would like to see is one of two things. Either just keep the large template, take some fill up, make the bag a floppier bag, or shrink the template down and, and make it a fuller bag, a smaller, fuller bag. Kind of go one way or the other. I think this full, large template bag, it's just, it's just too, there's too much weight when you grab it. There's too much bead out here for me and my grip. There's too much weight here. It's hard for me to get that bag to come out like I normally do and get that consistent flat bag now there are some of you who have a different style of grip that this this bag may work well for you guys and i and like i said it when i could get it to come out flat it played wonderful i i had loved the way it played i love the way it flowed the board i i loved the this material i really think this is, this is a pretty cool material um and it, it reminded me a lot of like i said of of that that clone carpet that viper art carpet that, that carpet that's the rage right now it really reminded me of that and and i think it it can i think this bag can be you know can be close to that if they fix this fill to template ratio. That's just, that threw me off. It threw my, my throw off. I just, I can't recommend the bag because of that. I would say this, if you're interested in getting a set of these bags, try to find a set to throw before you buy them, just to make sure you're going to like them because it they really are, they're really just different than anything I've thrown before. And I just struggled to get that consistency with them. And for me, you know, I would rather throw, you know, I'd rather throw this, this chaos or swag bags. I would never take this podium over this bag just because this bag feels so much better in my hands. I have more confidence throwing this bag than I do that podium. Yeah, available to these bags. Uh, Razor, I seem like I keep most of our bags in stock all the time. They have a website. It's actually on the bag. It's buyprobags.com. Put a link in the description. These bags run $79.99. It's 80 bucks for a set of four of them, which is actually not bad for an ACL stamp bag. Um, you know, it's on the cheaper end. Very reasonable. I just, I, I'm not going to recommend you to buy them unless you can get your hands on a set to try them out. Or, I mean, if you've got 80 bucks, you want to take a chance on them, you know, go ahead. Um, I just, to me, it's not a bag that I would want to throw all the time, but I do think there's potential here. And I, and I can see where this bag would fit some people, some throw styles, depending on how you like a bag, how you grip a bag. It may fit your grip better than it does mine. So for me, it's not a, it's not a bag I would recommend, but I'm not saying, you know, it's a trash bag either. So. I thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support.